Hello everyone, welcome you all again in a live session. So in this session, we are going to learn about automatic door based on AI. So in this, we are going to use uh, one extension, it's face detection. So for the extension, you will come here and uh, when you go to this purple color option, then you will find some extensions over here. Uh, let me go uh, to the option for adding the extension and I'm taking face detection. So once uh, you are taking the face detection extension, you will be taking the another extension. Its name is text to speech. So first let load this extension. After taking it, you can take the another extension that is text to speech. So this extension takes some time to load. So just wait a while because it is saying that hold your horses, then only this extension will uh, uh, be there. Uh, so just wait a, a while for that. Uh, till then, let's see how many of us uh, join uh, the live session. So after taking this extension, you will take another extension that is text to speech. So you will go to the extension again, face detection we have already. And now we will be searching for the another extension that is text to speech. Here it is. So you will take this extension text to speech for uh, uh, this. Then what you're going to do is that uh, you will take one backdrop picture. Actually, I have one already uh door picture so i will take this so backdrop we upload here and i want to upload a picture because i took one door picture and uh, from that door picture i will upload my picture so that's what i'm doing here uh, you can also upload the picture from your library so here I have the picture. I just click on the picture and uh, I think I got the picture. Uh, just wait for a while. It's importing as you can see. So here we have the picture. What we are going to do, like I have one closed door picture, one open door picture. So I'm taking just one closed door picture. I will do copy it. And after copy the picture, I'll go to backdrop one and I'll paste it on backdrop one. So this is my picture. I will hold the picture from plus sign and I'm moving it to this sign. Okay, so here I can see that there is my closed door picture and now I will, like I want some other picture also. So I will just paint it and then I'll come here and I will take the open door picture exactly like this way. I will do copy. I come here, I'll paste the picture and I'm holding it from this part and I'm moving it here. So this is done now here. What I will do is I'll close this picture. This is my closed door. This is backdrop one, this is backdrop two. What I'm going to do next is that I am coming uh, to the Toby page and I'm moving my Toby sprite to be here. And I will take uh, one button sprite for uh, making the, you know, a door button. So I'm just coming here uh, and uh, I just want to make the door button. So I just uh, want to select the sprite. Let's load it. So here I have the ball sprite and I will take this as, a, you know, because I want to make a button. So that's why I'm taking this sprite as a button sprite uh, and I am moving it to the wall like here. Okay, so when I click on the button, then something is going to happen. Now, what I will do is that first thing is I will write down the code uh, for when green flag click means when the game starts, then what's going to happen. So when green flag click, I will go to the face detection and in face detection i will take this like the camera will be off when uh, the game will start initially and uh, i will go to text to speech block means here and i am taking set voice block means i want to set the voice to tenor and uh, after this i will come to the looks and uh, i will take switch backdrop uh to door one 
So this is my backdrop one. The name of uh, backdrop one is closed door. So I'm taking this and then I will take the say block over here. And here I will write, hello, I am Toby. So hello is already written over here. And here I am writing, I am Toby. So hello, I am Toby. It is asking. And uh, after asking this, I will go to the text to speech block and I will take the speak block and here it will say that hello I am Toby means the same thing it's going to uh, say so I'll just come here and uh, I'll just copy this oh sorry 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 it's uh, control Z I'll press I'll just copy this code with control C and I'll come here and paste it here okay because the same thing I want to be Then again, I'm taking the say block and here I will write that please press the blue button to access the door. After this, we will take the speak block only. So I'm just taking the speak block and uh, here I'll just copy the paste and uh, copy the code and paste it over here. So this is done for when green flag click. Now what I'm going to do is I will take the event like when space key is pressed. Means uh, when space key pressed, it will recognize my face from the camera. So that's why I'm taking that. Uh, it will say, please look into the Then we'll go to text to speech and of course it will speak the same. So I will take the speak block over here and it will speak the same dialogue here. Then it will turn on the camera. Uh, so I'll go to face detection and the camera will be on. After that, I'll go to control and it should wait for some seconds. Like so for three seconds, it should wait and we'll go to looks and it will also say analyzing. So I'm just writing analyzing because it has to say that and uh, also uh, it has to speak the same thing. So I will take speak block and here it will speak the same. So that's why I'll copy the code and I'll come here and it will say this also. I'll stop this code. Now after that, what will happen? It has to identify the class. So it will uh, say that uh, add class one and here the name I will write so the name I'm writing Arzu, uh, it's like my name. So I am writing my name over here and then I will go to the looks and I will take the say block and in the say block, it says that uh, face stored. So I am writing face stored and uh, once the face is stored, it will say the same thing. So I will take the same thing as uh, like uh, it will speak face stored. So I'll just copy the code and I'll come over here and I paste the code and then uh, the camera will be turned off. So I will take this block over here and the camera will be off. After that, what are we are going to do is this is the space key press. Now, when the, uh, you know, uh, button is pressed, then what's going to happen? Oh my God, I did all the code in this. No, every code will come inside Toby. So I'm just copying this code like I come hold the code and move it to the Toby sprite. 
this code is also come in the Toby, not in the button. Okay, so yeah, I think the code is copied now. This is the when green flag click then this one. Okay, and from here, I'm going to delete this code. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'll go to event and I'm taking this when this is right click means for the ball one means for the button, I will create the broadcast and here I'm writing down the message door assist because uh, we need to assist the door. So I'm just writing door ss and now i'll go to click okay and now i will call the same event onto the toby's page so when the door ss means when i receive this then of course it should say something so i will take the say block it will say please look into the camera so i will write please look into the camera after that it will speak also the same thing i'll go to text to speech it will speak the same thing i will call copy this code and uh, now i'll paste it here so it will say please look into the camera the camera will turn on again then it is turned on then uh, i will go to control and it will take like wait for uh, three seconds after waiting for three seconds it will say the same thing analyzing so I'm just copy, like duplicate the code. It says analyzing. Okay. And then after analyzing, um, like it says analyzing. And now I'm removing this code. I will go to face detection and it will say do face matching on camera. So actually uh, we will uh face matching on the camera means okay the face is stored and now it is matching or not it is asking that then i will take uh, the if and else conditional statement block so in the if i go to the face detection i will take if uh, uh, class one is detected so let me find the block for this okay here it is if is one class detected then it will say so i will take the say block and it will say face matched welcome to the house so i'm just writing face matched welcome to the house so i'm just writing welcome to the house Okay, so face match, welcome to the house. Uh, it's actually saying and all together it has to speak also. So I will take the speak block and uh, I'm just copy this code and I'll paste it over here. After this, uh, it will repeat for 12 times something. So I'm just taking the repeat block and I am joining it here. So it will repeat for 12 times and uh, next backdrop will come. So I'll go to here and it says like next backdrop will come and the weight also must be there. So here should be the weight for 0 0.3 seconds. After waiting for 0 0.3 seconds, what will happen? It will come to the else means if it is not detecting your face, then of course it will come into the else and it says that face did not matched. Face did not uh, matched. Okay. Now, after that, it will also speak the same thing that face did not match. So, I'll just copy this code and I will paste this code over here. And after that, the camera will be turned off. This is all about the code part. And now what I'm going to do is that I will run this code here. So, let me allow the camera. Let me run the code and let's see what will happen. By the way, this was not the blue button, uh, but it's all right. We can make it like change it to the another one. So let me press the space key first. Analyze. Stored. 
Please look into the camera. Analyzing. Face did not matched. Okay, I'll try again. Let me run it. Hello, I am Toby. Please press the blue button to access the door. So I'll press the Please space look into key the camera. to store my face, okay? Analyzing. Face stored. Now I click on Please the button. Please look into the camera. Analyzing. Face matched. Welcome to the house. Okay, one thing, uh, there is a mistake that when it says welcome to the house, I want that this should be changed to the backdrop. So I'll go to looks and I will take switch backdrop to backdrop too when it says. Okay, now let me try again. Hello, I, start. I am Toby. Please press the blue button to access the door. So I press Please look key. into the camera. Analyzing. Face stored. Hello. Okay, I'll I am start Toby. Again Please the press the blue button on. to access the door. Please look into the camera. Analyzing. Face stored. Now I can Please look button. into the camera. Analyzing. Face matched. Welcome to the house. Yes. See how it is working. So when it says welcome to the house, the door is open now for me. So everyone, thank you so much for watching the video and keep watching these amazing videos on our live session videos. Okay, everyone. So Bye-bye. We'll meet you soon in the next session. Take care, all.